Hey, we're back here with uh, Barky's G5 Pro Stock 1000 we're building for the Snow Dragger. Uh, we've done some new updates in the last three, four weeks to it. We want to get you caught up. We also want to get you a little bit of a recap here on some of the clutches. We were talking quite a bit about aligning them, how important that was, uh, and getting this initial setup. So we wanted to show you a little bit about the clutches here. So when we're dealing with aligning clutches, you know, everyone's got knows, hey, I've got a clutch alignment tool, we'll call it, and you can kind of set it on there, does it? Well, when you're mixing and matching engines, clutching, center to center, offsets, there's some simple tricks we're gonna kind of show you here. So we have a extruded straight edge we have in here. We open up the clutch, we set it in there, we grab onto it, and we, we lay it perfectly down and it goes down just about to the center here. So if you really look at it, you can see it's kind of offset a little bit towards the engine. We do that to compensate for belt deflection in there. So there's a couple of things. We're not perfect today, but we're close enough to continue with the build. We have shimming and some finals, but we wanted to make sure we have distances between top and bottom are the same for this way. We also have the offset right and we have trueness. So wanted to get a quick recap how we did that so you can see what's going on. Because a lot of people ask us, well, how do you align it? Well, here's a real quick tip on how to set it up. So. Let's get into some of the stuff that we've done the last month here. Some steering posts, uh, upper structures, some gas tank stuff. We'll start putting that on and we'll go through it. All right, so what's nice is we do have that roughly aligned for you. Very close, so we got some shimming. And talk a little bit here, just some of our tools. We got a straight line custom offset tool that actually is adjustable. We've got some numbers in here, so both sides. You can set it to the offset that you need. So when this is all said and done, which will be really nice for the customer base is when he takes it apart, we'll be able to set this offset on here and go, hey, you're at 35 millimeter offset. So next time he takes it apart and puts it together, which shouldn't be a concern, but he can actually put the tool in there and self-align it himself. So kind of a quick tip when we get it all set up for him. So let's run over some of the items here. So the steering post, which was interesting, you know, we're putting the, Pro Stock 1000 engine in here. So steering post, I mean, we did some shortening, some turning, um, some extensions down here to get this up and through here because by the time we fit some pipes, the steering post is right in the way. So we got some modifications there. We'll get this put in for you, show you how that worked. Uh, we've got some of the upper structures here. We'll get mounted, put them in there. Then we'll talk about some of the back stuff that we modified uh, and you know the changes that need to be made to get this in here. So let's put some of this in there and talk about it. All right, so we're getting this thing pretty much mocked up. We've got some rear structures we've been putting in, uh, the bracings in, we've got these clutches aligned. Uh, we've also built a custom gas tank here out of a ultra lightweight aluminum vented cap. What's nice is on the side here, we've got some ports. So this is gonna be our viewing. So we'll have a clear tube that'll go through so we'll be able to see uh, straight out the bottom, mounts in and supports in a couple places. So mount that in. through here. Got a couple structural supports, which is nice right here. We're gonna encapsulate it. And then we've got one mount in the bottom. I mean, one of the big things we you know, are hitting on too is we're putting this machine together. Um, this is kind of a mock-up. We're building this component. So you can see the tank is, it's grounded, it's well, it's got everything on it. You know, our main goal is we need to build these machines completely all together, just as these mock-ups, every part's done. And when it's all done, we disassemble the entire machine, send it out for paint and powder coat or anodize, whatever we're doing to the project, and then you put it back together. So what you guys are seeing too, which is kind of neat, is you're seeing you know, this build of a rough machine and kind of what's happening versus when you see these done projects and realize you know, how much effort and time really truly goes into a build. So yeah, I think uh, a couple, two, three, four weeks from now, we'll be back in here. We're gonna work on a whole new front end, spindles, um, some more steering components. It's a pretty neat thing, so for sure hang around. Uh, we'll be back and we'll show you what else we got going on.